wrestlers, skin diseases can be considered a regular thing. And staying healthy is oftentimes a problem for almost all wrestlers. So cleanliness is key all throughout the season. When talking about these different types of diseases, one of the more common for wrestlers is cauliflower ear. The name cauliflower comes from the ear looking like a cauliflower, and this oftentimes occurs from being hit in the ear a repeatable amount of times. Cauliflower is uh, it's when uh, the skin separates from the cartilage on your ear and it forms a hematoma, which is a pussy sac in your ear, and that separates the skin. So, like if you don't drain it, then it'll the ear will form more cartilage. For Ben, the treatment is nearly day to day. When his ear fills up with the pus and blood, his mom helps him to clean it all the way out. Ben says his cauliflower ear affects him a lot, especially when he's wrestling and when he's getting it cleaned out. That's good. The other type of disease that can spread oftentimes in wrestling is impetigo. This disease can be transmitted very easily and will create small blisters in nearly any part of the body. They like diagnosed me like about like a week after like I noticed like some bumps and stuff and uh, they gave me like some average like medication for it but after that like didn't work. Um, we went back and got even more powerful stuff but by then it had like spread like down my face. For trainers, they do what they can to keep all wrestlers safe. Girls, we asked them to change their clothes and wash them every night. That helps out if they find anything on them. You know, we have soap that they use, uh, some special soap that we bought, but if they have anything on them, we ask them to go right to the doctor and get it cleared up. And while most of these injuries only last for a short while, coaches and players still must be very conservative to stay healthy. We'll evaluate the skin disease, look at the potential for um, whether or not it's going to be contagious or not, whether or not they can spread it throughout the team, whether or not it's legal in the NSAA to wrestle with it. This has been J.D. Wessel on wrestling skin diseases. Stay safe, Wildcats.